These daily guided meditations for transcendence are brought to you for free. If you enjoy them and would like to support the channel, you can hop on www.buymeacoffee.com slash rath, R-A-P-H, and buy me a coffee or join one of our memberships to enjoy some exclusive perks such as private posts, videos, and podcasts. That's buymeacoffee.com slash rath, R-A-P-H. Thank you so much for your generosity and support. Hello dear meditators, dear friends, welcome back to the channel and this is it. Today is day 100 of our meditation challenge, of our 100 days guided meditation challenge for transcendence. My name is Raphael, I'm so honored to have been part of your journey, to still be part of your journey and you know since today is day 100, this is actually the 100th time this is day 1. Every day is different, every meditation is different. We have achieved something great here by you know committing to a hundred days of consistently meditating there's been some differences in our lives i'm sure if it's not palpable to you it is certainly palpable by the people around you so congratulations for this celebrate yourself i would like to celebrate you too by offering you this 50 percent discount you've heard this now exactly a hundred times for the course I'm offering this discount during the entirety of the meditation challenge since the challenge is stopping today then today is the last day. I hate that it's some sort of like ultimatum or something like this but um, don't interpret it like this this is just how it is. So if you would like to benefit from this 50% discount then go in the description below. It is a course on meditation on transcendence with theory practice different ways to practice it. I've tried to put it as affordable as possible and also if you're one of the first hundred persons to sign up you'll get a free one-on-one -on -one session with myself so have a look at this in the description below the video or in the show notes if you're listening to this on the podcast and of course it'll still be available f i hope for years to come and i'll keep updating it and updating it and updating it you'll get one lesson per week as this is how i have structured the course okay guys but for now it is important to meditate and please make sure as always that you won't be disturbed during the entirety of the meditation that's approximately 20 25 minutes if you can leave yourself a little buffer at the end of the meditation four or five extra minutes as i will give you a thought an idea a quote to ponder on i really believe that after the meditation is the best time to ask ourselves the important questions of life, to reflect on, on, on our existence, on our consciousness, on love, on purpose, on duty, on so many important things. Once we've created this stillness, this calm, this serenity, this space for pure creativity and for different types of intelligence. So if you can give yourself a little bit of a buffer for a contemplation after, please do so. We sit nice and comfortably, either on a chair, directly on the floor, on a yoga block, on a meditation pillow. It doesn't matter where you decide to sit. It is important how you decide to sit. You must sit with dignity. You might sit with pride. You must sit nice and tall, taking space vertically, remembering that physiology precedes psychology. And so your posture will have a direct impact on the experience of your meditation, just as the way you hold yourself, the way you walk, the way your posture in general will have a significant impact on how you experience life and how people experience yourself. We start these meditation sessions by dedicating it to someone, it can be to anybody. Somebody that you know, somebody that you don't know, somebody that you love, somebody that you're having challenges with. It can also be to yourself. Today I will certainly be dedicating my session to all of you as this is our 100th session together on this challenge and honoring you and celebrating you. The way we do this is actually quite simple. We close our eyes, we put our hands to our hearts, either in a praying position or palms of the hand directly on the chest, whatever feels more natural to you. Deep inhale in through the nose. And on the exhalation, we project our love, gratitude and appreciation towards that person or group of people. We can do this once, we can do this two times or three times or four times. 
Noticing that each exhalation is also a perfect opportunity for us to let go, to relax, to release tension in our bodies, in our minds, and in our hearts. If you would like to, you can imagine, visualize, feel that person or group of people receiving your projection, receiving your dedication, receiving your love, receiving your energy. In a few moments you will be introduced to a sound, a vibration. You will put your focus and attention on that vibration and you will follow that vibration during the entirety of this meditation session. You'll do this as gently, softly and effortlessly as possible, keeping the sound on the foreground of your mind. When thoughts come, don't engage your ego, don't engage your judgments. This is perfectly normal, it is perfectly natural, it is part of the process of meditation. So don't judge your meditation session, don't judge yourself, your ability to meditate, and don't judge the thoughts. Don't try to categorize the thoughts, and certainly don't try to eliminate the thoughts. When you catch yourself thinking, go back to the sound as gently, as softly, as effortlessly as possible, putting the sound back on the center stage of your inner personal space. When the sound fades out, let it resonate in your own mind for a few extra moments, keeping it alive, reproducing it in your mind.
You may now let go of the vibration. The meditation is over. Let it go, let it float away, let it fly away, don't cling on to it. Take your time. Get reacquainted to the sensations in your body. If you need to start moving, do so. Starting with your extremities, moving your fingers, wiggling your toes. If you need to move more, move more. If you need to stretch, stretch. If you need to smile, smile. Keep it natural. Keep it true. And stay seated. Whenever you feel ready, take a nice deep breath and open your eyes. Take your time here to get reacquainted to the environment around you, to the space you're in. Noticing things that are familiar, things that are new. Objects, shadows, lights, textures, sounds, smells. And while we're here, I would like to read one last quote to finish off this 100 day challenge. You might think that I might read one of those long cha chapters, or one of those long passages to celebrate the last day, but actually I'll choose the shortest one and one that I thought was most appropriate to close this challenge. It's again by Lao Tzu from the Tao Te Ching. And he says, The world belongs to those who let go. Thank you so much for meditating with me during these hundred days. It has been an honor, a pleasure, a privilege to be part of your lives. Thank you for letting me in your headphones, your ears, your hearts, your homes. I am so grateful to have known you. I feel you. I feel we have created a connection. The connection will continue as we continue to meditate on this channel and maybe one day in person. What happens next? What happens tomorrow? The same thing that happens today, a new beginning. The day after, a new beginning too. And again, every day is day one. Every day might be the last day. Every action might be the last action. Every meditation, every breath might be our last breath. And so we continue one by one, one by one. And we let go. Thanks again for being here. As always, you know, I appreciate you. Take care. I'll see you soon.